interesting. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Hazy Simmers channel. Okay, so today is June the 26th, and this is the first video I have recorded since, I think, February. Um, I have just had a year. It's been a year of death, healing, growth, uh, remorse, and um, just a, it's been a journey. And I stepped away every time I came to play. I just felt uninspired. I felt sad, depressed, and I didn't want to sit in that space. But I have moved my setup to a different room and i am feeling inspired and excited to come back to my channel because i really miss storytelling as you guys know i am long-winded and storytelling is something i thoroughly enjoy so i have a nice cup of warm tea and we are going to get into the um cry baby whims challenge we are in the dollhouse generation we are still in gen one and things are finally like we're starting to check off the checklist of the things that we are meant to accomplish. I am um, really excited. This save file is completely up to date. My mod folder, my modern one is up to date. I have one thing that I'm getting like an error for, but I can't find out. I can't figure out what it is. I can't figure out how to fix it. So I played um, one or two days off camera, pausing the pregnancy and updating the characters and stuff like that. Um, and just like updating relationships um, like between Jason the dog because he wants to be a veterinarian and he just pet sat the dog so he should have a higher relationship and I worked on his college degree and all that so like I've done small little things off camera for just two sim days so nothing big um, did some remodeling and so can't wait to get in to show you guys as well as I yeah so as well as I have built something for the uh sims medieval um ultimate extreme ultimate decade challenge that i was doing i updated every single character and i'm halfway done with updating my mods folder and i'm going to get back into that story because both of these stories i had a plan and i'm going to stick to the plan but i have a few adjustments because i have read 50 three books this year yes i am crazy i have done a lot of reading and i am going to make my story a little bit more spacey so get to your tea and get ready to come play sims 4 with me all right so i have myself minimized in the corner and crybaby whims youtube yeah that is the one i am so excited so we're going to start off in the jace windsor and bell household i finally updated the twins if you guys remember literally let me pause because i am so fast at talking I literally watched every single episode leading up so I wouldn't forget where I was, what the story was that I wanted to tell. Um, it was really important to me that I was um, caught up and invested in my channel just as you guys are. So if you guys remember Landon, um, Belle's high school boyfriend, is um biological father of the children and uh jace played hero and uh stepped in and married bell if you want to go back and watch why the story is a little bit more complex but um per the crybaby whims goals our um sister has to get like so we're supposed to have a high school sweetheart with, you know, we that we start off on bad terms with. That's what we've been working on. Um, our sister is married to our high school sweetheart, and um, we're experiencing essentially amnesia, and we don't remember, but we're starting to, uh, we as in Marigold, she is our um, protagonist, if you want to call it that, but when you read this, it's up to interpretation. She might become a villain. Like, it's kind of like everybody is gray. Some people are really bad. Some people are good. Um, and some people are maybe nobody's good. So um, we'll just have to see. So we're already, we as in Marigold, our main Gen 1, who is our yellow and white Sim, she is already pregnant, but she's pregnant with her magical husband's uh, child. So she has to have three more children with her spouse after she hooks up with her ex and gets pregnant. So she's got one 
pregnancy with, um, let's go to the family tree because this will just help us out a lot. So Mary Gold is married to Nico. So she's pregnant with Nico, their first child. That's why I have my thumbs up. That's their first child. Then she has to have a child with Jace, her ex. She has to have a child with Jace. And if you guys don't know, Jace is a woohoo. He's never had woohoo. Just so you know, he has not consummated his marriage with Belle. So that is really interesting on top of all his anger towards Belle and Dr. Bradford. Um, he's also never experienced simple joys of sim life um, and hasn't woohooed. So he is playing adult and not living adult life. Um, so yeah, she has to have a child with Jace um, and then she has to have three more children with her husband. So it looks like Mary Gold is going to have five children. Um, Belle, I'm going to show you guys Belle and her makeover. Is this the Belle you guys recognize? I'm hoping not because I gave her plastic surgery. You guys know Belle is so scared of her father and his control, how he has been controlling them like dolls. She feels so unfulfilled in life. She, they're her, they're her kids are like three years old. She thought Jace would love her by now. She thought he would be over her sister. Um, she thought, you know, that they, because they did promise to try to make their marriage work and, you know, be happy because they were very scared of Dr. Bradford. So um, she's kind of changed herself. I don't know if you guys can tell. But she has a similar hairstyle that Marigold had um, whenever Jace was dating her. Um, she's, you know, been taking Dr. Bradford's mind-altering shifters, which are sort of like a brain-altering um, medicine he uses to kind of, like, turn people into, like, the Stepford housewife, like, zombie kind of perfect wife. So she is constantly taking shifters. She is out of her mind. She's altered her body, and, you know, she just, yeah. The only joy she has is her children that she had with Landon, which is Cammy, which is her daughter, and Landon, which is her son. Um, she named him after his biological father. Um, so there's tea there. I also said, because you guys know they had really white and bland houses, and I said when they started to, look at her difference. Look at the difference of her, right? She looks like a different person. She got her lips done, her nose done, her boobs done, and like a tummy tuck and all that. But yeah, so I said as they developed more of their personality against Dr. Bradford um, and kind of were breaking free, you would notice more personality in their house. So it, while everything is still very neutral and dollhouse-like, there are like this bold pattern for the couch and like little things. Like this is her marriage certificate just tucked behind like right there, like, you know. Anyway, so there's like little nods to things that are things are changing. Um, Jace just finished his degree. He, this is, oh, this is their sleeping arrangement. This is supposed to be Jace's bed and this is supposed to be Belle's bed, but I haven't said it yet. They have officially decided not to try to like make their marriage work. They just, you know, they're roommates. And obviously this is the kid's room. And let me show you the kids. Cammy literally is beautiful. Landon's a little cutie too. I'm so excited you guys actually get to meet them properly. Um, we are still at the beach condos. I am still wildly proud of this build, too. Like, I'm so proud of myself. And as we know, Mary Gold and her husband, um, Nico, live over here. And that's where they're going to raise their family. They also have their dog, Lily. Um, so Lily um, loves um, Jace. And if you guys remember, Jace is was working on his degree to be a doctor per Dr. Bradford. He said, you know, you don't get to be a veterinarian. Like, you're going to essentially... He's setting Jace up to inherit his empire. He is so proud of Jace because for the last, you know, like, what, six years? You know, three or six years. Well, because she had the babies. For the last three or four years, um, you know, he's been the perfect son for Dr. Bradford. And um, he's kind of going to try to take him under his wing. So that's a decision Jace is going to have to make. But he is, you guys know. Jace is losing his mind because Marigold is pregnant and Marigold on her honeymoon when she went to El Salvador with her husband was gifted a journal that she had whenever she was dating um, Jace and she's starting to recover her memories. So 
Yeah, it's a journal she left with the family, she, the exchange family she was staying with over the summer. So yeah, that's all the tea. That is a 10 minute intro. You guys are gonna hate me, I'm so sorry. But for the real MVPs, thank you for staying along. Right now, I think everyone is just kind of sleeping. So I'm gonna let them do that. Oh, well, the kids aren't sleeping. So I guess we gotta do some baby care. What is going on with them? It's just sleepy and, oh, they're fine. Okay, so she is sleepy. So we're gonna put her to bed and then let's play with Landon. Yeah, they, the kids don't have any skills, unfortunately, because I just, this isn't a house that's prioritized and that's just how it is. Um, We're gonna have him sleep in his actual bed and assign that to him because I really need to show that they are not together. So this, maybe I'll move myself over here. It says, it feels like it's been forever since Jace has been romantic with his partner. It could be paranoia, it could be anxiety or a gut feeling, but Jace can't help but wonder what his partner is up to and who they're seeing behind his back. So he just got that fear. And I wonder if it's guilty because he has been trying to make, sorry, this is loud. I hope it's not loud for you guys. He has been trying to make um, Marigold remember when they were together. So that's very interesting. Oh, she looks like she is mad at her mom. She's like, who? What are you doing? You don't look like my mom anymore. Put me down and put me to bed. Put me to She just wants to go to bed. And Cammy's just tired. So we'll just tuck her in and do mommy things. Be a good mommy. It's like 6 a.m. and I'm putting the babies to bed. Oh my goodness. She's telling her a sweet little story and it's making her sad. That is really unfortunate. Okay, so I just had to like test my sound to make sure the Sims weren't too loud, but then I realized you couldn't hear them. So hopefully I fixed it. Um, but yeah, so today what they have on their schedule is, um, oh, it's the day before his graduation. So I guess we can play as um, Marigold. Okay, cool, we're gonna play as Marigold. Okay, so she is still pregnant. She's just stuck in her second trimester. There we go. There's her belly. So I gave Marigold an updated look too. Um, I'm making her more Stepford housewifey. Um, you know how like Dr. Bradford has Helen, Helena, their mom, has like short hair, and I don't know. I just kind of went for that vibe, and I updated her her outfits, and I also updated Nico's outfit, um, in face and hair and stuff. But I don't know if you guys noticed, Jace is growing his hair out like Nico. So yeah, we can play them for a day. I do have the pregnancy paused, but I can unpause it, I think, now. I just had it paused so you guys wouldn't miss anything. Okay, so I'm going to cut that out because I wanted to keep it a surprise on what she's having, but I resumed her pregnancy, and Aww. here she is just loving on Lily. We're going to play with Lily, maybe go on an adventure. Maybe she'll unwind on the couch because she is pregnant. Oh, good. Um, her medical test came back from her pregnancy and everything is good. So she just got that email. So I'm thinking that with Nico and everything that's going on with Marigold and her memory, she would really just like pour, like she has been trying to get to talk to Jace, but he won't give her too much information. He's like, tell me you remember, like we can talk about it if you remember. And she was like, I don't, like I'm reading these events, but I don't like recall them happening. And she hasn't told Nico anything. And I don't know if you guys remember, Nico is a writer. He does do some investigative, um, like, well, so, he's, so he does do some reporting, column writing for work, but he wants to write a novel, a great epic romance novel. He is a true romantic at heart. He is Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect. This is his office, by the way. Dr. Bradford built it, and he is working on... Um, Making uh, So Nico is working on making it his own. Like, look at the view they have. So this is Nico's office. Like, what a view Nico has. Like, what a life. <laughs> so yeah, he's going to practice writing. Um, remember, Nico is kind of not one of Dr. Bradford's dolls yet. Like, Nico, he loves adventure. He loves exploring, traveling the world. And, you know, documenting his journey. The only reason he accepted this house was because it was Marigold's. It's like Dr. Bradford gave it to Marigold. He's not going to tell us. I mean, he did try to say, like, we can get our own place. You know, you don't have to do this for us. And Dr. Bradford's like, no, 
I'm doing this for my daughters. This is their home. So um, that's the only thing Nico took, but he wouldn't take a job or anything from Dr. Bradford. Oh, so it looks like Marigold wanted to come in and check and talk to Nico. I'm sorry if I'm rambling, guys. Like, I am, this is like getting back to doing this is like taking a minute. So, yeah, um, she is feeling great. She considers Nico her soulmate. She's so happy to be pregnant. She's happy to be disease free, blissfully clean house, and filling her baby kick. So, oh no, we need to teach our pet not to do that. Lecture about jumping on counters. Oh yeah. Lecture about begging for food and lecture about drinking from toilet. Yeah, please don't drink out of the toilet. So all she's meant to do is like get the house clean and stuff and get ready for the baby. So she was watching her niece and nephew, and you know what? Her sister is um we'll bring lily so she's supposed to watch her niece and nephew on the weekends and yep there's her sister in town right here um she works at the local little bakery stall they're not meant to have jobs but they're right here so this is where she works their dad was kind of like um you know and their mom was like bell needs help you know you are more suited to motherhood bell was kind of always like in her mind gonna be a trophy wife and now she's fallen in love with cooking and baking and she kind of just needs to get out of the house for like a few hours a day to help our friend who is this baker like with orders for weddings and stuff like that because as we know tortosa is a wedding destination place and um you know he gets a little overwhelmed so bell goes to help him mary gold goes and watches the kids to help out jace and bell so that is why like they're going to be in close proximity not just like living together um and nico's off to work so this kind of gives mary gold something to do like I'm still, so you guys know I quit playing when like floor four rent was still very glitchy. I am not a fan of four rent. I didn't enjoy it. I don't know if it's fixed. Knock knock. I'm here to watch the twins. I'm here to watch Cammy and Landon. Landon Jr. Oh, he's sleeping. Where's? Oh wait, that's Cammy. Our mom is calling. She also got a makeover. I also feel like her relationship with the kids should be better. But we're gonna confront confront we're gonna confront him what did you do baby landon we are going to play with baby landon and just kind of you know work on being a mommy oh yeah love that view for us it's so cute getting to know baby oh i'm so sad what are we doing we need to play peekaboo with him and just kind of Oh, let's see what she's feeling. She is feeling her baby kid. Kid, she's just a little uncomfortable. Um, we need to get a high chair so we can try our, their first foods. I want to do something special. Oh, look, Belle's home. Well, we can give her an update and said, "Hey, we're about to give Landon a bottle. See how you are doing? Oh no, she's dazed again, Belle. Oh my gosh." Belle, you are so sad. This is heartbreaking. And we are feeling paranoid. So she, I think she's wondering in the back of her mind, does like Belle know about like these journals that we're coming, we're finding our childhood journals and they're not matching our memories. So she's wondering if Belle knows. So yeah, I am worried. And then Lily is checking in with Belle. Oh my gosh, I love the... I'm sorry, Growing Together, I don't know if you guys hate it or love it. Growing Together is one of my favorites. The animations were like so, they were just missing in the game. We were just missing them. So yeah, we're going to check in with our sister after we put the baby down. Oh, yeah, they've had a weird relationship. Like they love each other, but like they only can love in the capacity that they were shown an example until they grow and heal on their own and learn how to care about people better. Like that love will only be like surface level. So that's something those sisters are going to need to work on over time. So I think we're like catching up and Belle is showing her some of the cakes. I think Belle's really happy and proud of her working. Um, Obviously, she's talking about moving. So, oh, yeah, they're talking about baking. Like she's like talking about moving on in life and getting a job, you know, moving past her ideas of thinking that she was just going to be this trophy wife. Maybe she's saying how, like, she feels like Jace inspires her to be better and the kids inspire her to be better. 
And I think Marigold is going to ask about the name Landon because Marigold has no memory of um, the original Landon. Where were you inspired to get Landon's name from? Like, um, it just feels familiar with me, like to me. And I just kind of want to like have Marigold test the waters with her sister about like, you know, just these memories that she's coming up with. So she's like, you know, when you were pregnant, how did you come up with your baby names? Like Landon, like, where does that come from? Is it in Jace's family? It's not in ours, you know? And I think, you know, Belle is going to be smart enough to tell, because she calls her Mary. So Jace calls Mary Gold Goldie and um, Belle calls her Mary. So if at any point you guys like hear me say that, it's like their term of endearment to her. Be Belle sees Mary Gold as like, sees her as pure and um, uncorrupted, essentially, especially in their family. So she calls her Mary for, out of purity, like, and in, yeah. So anyways, they're arguing about like baby names. And she's like, you know, like, that's just where I came up with it. I just saw it in a book. And I think she is going to be like, oh, okay, well, okay. So she said, yeah, that makes my state. Thanks for talking. Made me, you made me smile. You made my day so much better. So they're like, you know, they're healing the relationship. I think um, Marigold is so proud of Belle for working. And, um, you know, I think she's just trying to be a good sister to her. I really love the aesthetic of this game. I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, she's awake. Okay, so we're going to give Cammy some love. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Um, so we're going to comfort her and just like take care of Cammy and all that. So the girls are going to cook dinner together. Um, when does Nico get off work? Nico's at work until seven. So I'm going to just like imagine that Marigold is going to have dinner, you know, with, you know, the family here and not be alone in her little house with her dog. So the babies, I believe, are sleeping, are as close to sleeping as they're going to be. She is feeling, oh, she's just feeling all kinds of good for having her baby. So we're supposed to be, oh, Marigold is a romantic sim. Let me guys, like, can you guys let me know where you prefer this little head bubble? Um, Like right here, do you, I don't know. I know some people like to read the notifications, but I don't think they always like, are going to be a part of the story. So I don't know. You guys let me know. I don't want to take too much of the screen up. So I just need to be conscious of it. So it looks like Nico is home. We can bring him over and he can have dinner with us. But um, if we can start dinner, that would be great. Jace is like flexing. It looks like he's been working out. He's feeling some type of way. Oh, we're feeling paranoid again. So, yeah. Oh, poor Nico. Making future plans. Like, tomorrow they're having dinner at their dad's house. Um, at Dr. Bradford's house because it's Jace's graduation. So, from university. And he's going to, you know, be able to be a doctor. I'm so proud of you. But look, Jace came. What? Jace came to talk to Marigold. Um... Yeah, I think Nico's going to congratulate, you know, Nico's a stand-up guy, so, and he doesn't, like, think anything's going on. Oh, now, mind you, oh, she's loving on her baby. We do know that in the last episode, um, she, Belle kissed Nico, and we don't really know what that was about. Nico had no sentiment and meant absolutely nothing to him, but Belle is, like, on some stuff. Looks like they're celebrating the kid. All right, let's eat, because I'm sure we're all very hungry. Her and her paranoia, guys. You guys know every time it's like 3 a.m., she has like an episode. So, which it like calls back to whenever it was like she was at her house. Looks like she's feeling a little paranoid. Um, I think it's just like being close in close proximity to Jace. I think she is, you know, reminiscing and... Yeah, I wonder if she's coming to look at Landon and be like, why do I know your name? Like, what is your name to me? Like, I think she is really thinking about that. Because as we can see, she's been really drawn to Landon over Cammy, And I really think it's the name triggering her memory. So we'll have to see, like, what dreams that, like, triggers today. Oh, man, she's feeling really romantic. And I think she is just thinking about the entries in her book. Read to the baby. Oh, my gosh, I have to see this. 
So it has her like asking him if they would read to the baby. Um, but the dog keeps interrupting, so that's kind of annoying me. Let's go see what this like looks like. It's part of the mod, um, the pregnancy or something mod. Um, I don't even remember realistic childbirth. I, I have a bunch of mods in guys. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. I bet it's gonna be so good. Oh, it's so good. I got chills. Oh my god. You guys, I'm so sorry. I hope nobody is rooting for Jace because Nico is meant to be the perfect husband. And boy, does this man have it. Like, look at this. I am losing my mind. These animations are so good. I am going to cry. Oh, my God. Look, he's like rubbing her belly. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed, guys. That was so special. Oh my gosh, my heart is broken. He is too pure for this family. He's too pure. I do know that, you know, Mary Gold has been manipulated her whole life, but like what she has to do to Nico is still terrible. My heart, my heart. You guys, it never fails. I had you on fast forward and she had just woken up. I mean, she went back to bed because her energy is low, but she always wakes up at 3 a.m. I wonder if that's like some kind of like update. I don't know, but like this Sim has always woken up around 3 a.m. So in the morning, I'm going to send her to town and do like baby activities and have her go like buy something for them. Then we are going to go to Jace's graduation dinner with, um, at Dr. Bradford's house. And I'm gonna kind of like step away from them because if I play them too actively, we are literally never gonna get through this challenge. Just know that Dr. Bradford is working in the background with basically anyone influential. He is a plastic surgeon to the stars and a um, secret pharmaceutical doctor who has an experimental drug that we're calling the Shifter. And it gives a Stepford Housewife experience. Some women volunteer for it, just like Helena and now Belle is doing. And some willing, um, some women are unknowingly taking it thanks to their partner. Or um, like Dr. Bradford gave Marigold shifters, like a new version of the shifter. Um, whenever the whole situation went down with Landon and stuff. So like, there's just like, a lot going on in the background and you guys just like keep imagining that with me because if I go in and play them, we're never going to get through and I want to get through. So Marigold woke up really, really sad and feeling like there's like something missing in her life, which is very interesting with everything she has going on. We're going to have her make some pancakes and um, it looks like, oh, I'm going to have Nico work on his book oh yeah we're invited to the graduation ceremony in one hour so that's going to be fun we're going to have nico probably write a biography about his life maybe down the road so marigold is at jace's graduation ignore what she's wearing that was really unintentional um she came angry though because she feels like she is losing control of her life so that's really sad i also, look at all her new outfits. I think to his graduation, she might really wear a really nice white dress. So, yeah, she's here at his graduation. Oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. Like, I love this for Marigold. And we updated her makeup, too, so she would look, like, more mature. Um, but she's just here to support her brother-in-law and her lifelong friend and clean public toilets, apparently. Okay, so Jace is over here graduating, and we are celebrating him next to this guy who looks like a villain. Okay, she's over here now. Aww. They're talking about, like, their future, like, his future becoming a doctor and her future becoming a mom. Okay, Jace just kissed Marigold's hands. I don't know if you guys caught that, but they just naturally flirt. He, I think he is really not taking her forgetting him as an answer he it's definitely causing confusion for her but he is celebrating his life and he, i think he's like thinking about how like she is the one he has always wanted look at how he's looking at her guys like jace does not have any eyes for anyone anyone but mary gold i can't i think he is like what the heck did i do like what did i 
do? Like, I know he, like, found out that, you know, Dr. Bradford murdered Landon, and he was just trying to help out, you know, Belle, but he is, like, just feeling some type of way. I'm going to have her scope her surroundings to see who she finds attractive, just because I'm curious if she is attracted to Jace. <gasps> Oh, yeah, she's thinking of him, and she is wildly attractive, and oh my god, Belle is calling. Okay. Belle is probably checking in and be like, how's the graduation? I had, you know, she probably had to work, um, or she stayed home with the, she stayed home with the babies, um, and I think it's because maybe they fought, and he didn't really want Belle there, um, because he has to be a doctor because of her, um, but... In this moment, Miss Marigold has realized that she is, she has realized she's attracted to Jace. And look at him walking away, like swaggering away. Oh my goodness. I think she's going to ask him, do you want to like go out to dinner, like, uh, like lunch before? Uh, oh no, she's going to discuss her fears. I was going to ask if like he wanted to go to lunch before they go over to Dr. Bradford's. Yeah, so they're talking about their fears, and she's apologizing. I think she's going to tell him. I think she is so hormonal that she is going to tell him that she is starting to have memories, but they don't make sense to her. And I think I'm going to have him, like, he's showing her a picture, and she's like, you know, I'm married um, to the most perfect husband. I love him. We're having a baby. And he's like, I'm happy for you. But, like, if there's any memory you have of us, like, can we talk about it? Can we, like, have a conversation? And she's like, what do you expect me to do? Like, I'm not really sure what you're wanting. And he's like, I just think we need to talk because our life has been wrapped up in this crazy drama that has to do with your sister and your parents. And she's like, hang on, I have a text. And we're going to say that her dad texted him. Um, text her to check in on her. So I think they they were flirting. Their romance is going up. I'm going to say their romance needs to be like halfway before I make them like woohoo or anything because she does have to cheat on her husband. But I am going to have her flirt with him and say, let's have them exchange numbers. Just be like, anytime you want to talk to me, like here's a secure app you can talk to me on because he's, you know, she's paranoid. Yeah.